All right, YouTubers, what's happening? We got another knife video for you today. We've got a hinder knife here. This is the new uh, Triple Lot Design Compact made by Rick Hinderer Knives and designed by Triple Lot Design. They don't really make knives. They have designs and then they kind of, you know, farm them out to other people. Um, this particular model, the Dauntless Compact, was previously made by Brian Fellholter quite a few years ago, probably three or four years ago, um, maybe even more. And they, uh, this year they went with Rick Hinder, Rick Hinder, which is awesome. He had done one with, with them in the past, I believe, too. Um, but if you look, if you've seen a Dauntless Compact, it looks almost identical to this model. It has the same um, fullers in the in the G10, the same fuller in the blade, obviously the design. But the handle, the blade, everything looks the same. The differences are going to be the pivot, um, the pocket clip, the lock bar stabilizer, all kind of hinder of things. You flipped it over on this side, you wouldn't really tell much of a difference besides I think the pivot had the triple lot design logo. But then the backside almost looks completely different just because of the, the hinder touches. But but the main reason for this video, I just got this and I was super excited when this came out because um, at the time I only had a half track and a um, XM18, full, a three and a half. I wanted a smaller hinder basically. The three inch hinders never really um, worked for me with the flipper tab because it would just kind of dig into my hand. Um, but then I found, in the meantime, before this came out, I did find this unicorn of a, uh, this is a Gen 2, I believe, th XM18 3 inch um, non flipper, the slicer grind. Pretty hard to find and pretty much just awesome. So I found one for a really reasonable price too. But then this came out, and I was like, I need to check out the Dauntless. And then the Half Tracks Gen 2s came out, which are freaking awesome with that bearing pivot and that detent. And they just are great little flippers. So, really wanted to compare these three knives in this video, um, this, the, the smaller hinder offerings, and kind of, you know, maybe give you some insight of what you should buy if you wanted a smaller hinderer. Uh, I'm going to stop right now and tell you if you can find one of these guys, buy it, because they're hard to get. I don't know if Rick's making them um, again anytime soon. He's still making the flipper um, three inches, so if the flipper tab doesn't bother you, it just is in a weird spot how it curves down. Um, I should have brought my XM18 three and a half inch to show you, but the flipper tab kind of curves down, and it, it with a smaller knife, it kind of just was uncomfortable for me to hand to hold. Um, so let's talk about the Dauntless and um, how it compares to these knives. For one thing, I'll tell you, it's uh, it's very slim. It is way slimmer than the half track and even the three inch XM18, which is a pretty slim knife on its own. Um, it is way slimmer, man. It is like skinny, skinny. Give me a measurement here. It is 0.41 inches thick. That is thin. I mean, most knives these days are about a half inch thick in the handle. This is really, really thin. And it was surprising when I got it in my hand. I was like, wow, that is super thin, um, super thin. The handle is super comfortable. I mean, the, Daunt the, the Dauntlesses have always been, I've had quite a few of these models from Triple Lot Design, and they've always had very comfortable handles, um, very good ergonomics. So the ergonomics on this knife are fantastic. You've got uh, some good jimping up here, not too crazy. Um, a little less, I would say, than, well, probably more like the half track um, than the XMs. Very similar jimping. And then you've got this um, fuller, or not a fuller, uh, groove right here, swedge, we'll call it, for your thumb that is just super comfortable to put your hand there. So when you get a full grip, you have your, a nice resting place for your thumb. And the same place also works if you're choking up in the choil. So you got your thumb there and the choil there, and you can get really, really good control of the knife, really fine detailed uh, work. So very well designed there. CPM 20 CV steel, which is pretty much what hinderers use in these days, and it's you know M390 equivalent. It's a fantastic steel. Uh, nice G10 scales. Uh, typical hinderer build quality. Very tanky. Very, but but not as tanky as the other hinderers. That's the thing. So if you don't like the tankiness of the hinderers, um, then you will you would definitely like this because it's thinner and it's um, pretty lightweight too. Make sure our scale is on an even surface here. Zero it. What's happening? This thing's kind of a piece. Oh, there we go. 3.3 ounces. So pretty lightweight for a hinder uh, versus like the half track is 
4.2 and it's a pretty small knife um, and the XM 3.3 so the same as the 3 inch XM 18 so really this kind of comes down to you know do you want a, a beefy little tank knife um, the half track is awesome I love the half track one of my favorite hinder designs or do you want a smaller 3 inch uh, blade like these two and a little bit thinner in the handles these are this one's actually thinner than this one by quite a bit this is still pretty thin though the three inch xm18s are um you know it kind of depends on what you're what you're looking for now i will say that i like uh, i like the blade shape of both knives the feel on the hand is very very comparable um i would say that the trip the the tad is a little bit more comfortable in the hand i don't know if it's got a little bit it might have a little bit bigger handle yeah, it does have a slightly, I mean, just slightly. It's it's so close. It's it's neg it's neg. Okay, I'm trying to say the word negil negil. Can't even say it. <laughs> Not even gonna try. It is that. It's kind of early in the morning. I don't know why I'm doing this video so early. It's a little bit. I don't know. They're about the same. It's just maybe the handle shape um, is a little bit more comfortable in the hand uh, for me on the Dauntless. So, um, but the not to say the 3M18 non-flippers work really well in my hand really really well so um another some other comparisons here let's let's think about them the, the thumb studs are in a different spot um on the xm they're much closer to the um, handle almost working as a blade stop there is a stop pin okay there's not a stop pin that's where i was uh, that's one of the big differences that's right on the dauntless there is a stop pin on the hinder the thumb studs work as a stop, blade stop. So you can see there's a difference there. You can also notice looking at them side by side, the, the, the obviously the thickness, um, but the jimping on the handle that he gives you with hinders that's really well done is, is non-existent here, just on the blade, but not on the G10 or on the frame. You can tell how much thinner the lock bar is, um, or the lock side is quite a bit thinner. And overall, this the knife's a lot thinner. And then this one has an aftermarket uh, micarta scale, so you can't really judge the scales. But um, other than that, the pocket clips are identical. The lock bar stabilizer are identical. Um, this one is an older model, so it does not have a lock bar insert, but this does. And this one also does not have the um, triway pivot, but that's okay. It's super smooth. It does have the tip up or down pocket clip option, which the Dauntless does not. It's only tip up right hand carry. So one thing to consider there. All right, now the main thing. First of all, the detent is. Let's talk about that. The detent on this thing is crazy. It's it's pretty strong. Um, I think a little too strong for a non-flipping knife. Now the like the new hinders have strong detents. Like that guy just rockets out of there, right? But that's a flipper. That's perfect. You don't you want that on a flipper, but you don't necessarily want that on a thumb stud knife. You want it to have kind of a medium to softer detent because and it, and it flicks out fine, as you can see there. And it's not terribly difficult, and you can slowly open the knife. But you will definitely notice, and I'm not the only one that thinks this. I've heard a few guys say that their thumb's a little sore on this guy, and using the middle finger can happen. But it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's more a little bit more difficult to open than like the um, like this XM18. It's got about the perfect detent for a thumb stud knife. So the detent's a little strong, but the biggest thing that kind of like is kind of a deal breaker for me is. It comes back to how thin the knife is, and especially the lock bar. The lock bar is thinner than both the, the half track and the um, XM18, and the like. You don't get this so on typically on hinder knives on the lock bar. You're going to get that jimping on the lock bar. Uh, it doesn't have it on the um, half track. That's interesting. The XM18s have this jimping right here, right? So let's compare. Let's take this one out because these aren't the same, and compare these two. You can see that, and there goes the furnace. You can see the big difference between the um, lock bars here. This one's quite a bit thicker, which I mean, it's a thicker overall knife, but the recess is better done on the half track. And the one thing that kills me with the Dauntless is it's it's pretty uncomfortable to unlock this knife. Like once it locks up, to get in there and disengage the lock is is it's too thin. And this is what it does. I don't know if you can see that mark on my thumb. It's been open. There's like all these indents on my thumb. It's from just unlocking this knife. So it's actually pretty uncomfortable to disengage the lock on this, which I was super shocked by that. I did not 
because I have never felt that on any hinder knife, um, especially not the XM18s I have, not the half track. Um, so it's probably a design of the triple lot, I'm guessing, part of the design of the knife, and that Rick just you know executed the design, um, just kind of manufactured it. I don't, I don't like it. it it's uh, you kind of have to use your thumbnail um, to disengage it more than your your thumb, the meat of your thumb. If you use the meat of your thumb, it's really um, it just digs in there. It's kind of it's uncomfortable. That's the only word, best way to put it. And I think knife this expensive, and this is more than your typical hinder is. Um, it's like they're four sixty on the website. Pretty expensive knife. Um, I, I just feel like that shouldn't be there. I, I feel like that's just a, a weird design flaw. They kind of, and I, I can't imagine it. You know, I don't have like hugely thick thumbs or anything, and the guys that do are gonna really feel it. Um, but it, it's just one of those things. It's like you disengage the lock, and you're like. Yeah, that's kind of kind of uncomfortable. With the and that coupled with the super strong detent and the I think the too thin. I think the knife is actually too thin in the handle. Um, there's just a few things about this knife that are that I don't like, and it's I was kind of disappointed and surprised at the same time. So my advice is, if you can find it and you want to you want to sub, you know, on a three inch or smaller hinder, on a flipper you get the half track because it's fantastic these new gen 2s with the tri wave pivot with the bearings and the detents they have are freaking awesome right but let's say you, you want a non-flipper um you don't have a lot of options <laughs> the dauntless is your best option because it's available but the if you can find one of these guys one of these unicorns the xm18 three inches non-flippers that's where it's at um i think it's one of the perfect one of the best edc knives that i have and i absolutely love it it's just so comfy it's just a good size and yeah I think that the Dauntless design and I mean I it, I'm not sure what the hell that whole thing goes down with I believe they just have someone manufacturing the knife it's their design I don't think they've changed it much since the felt or maybe they had maybe they this is a design change with the lock bar how thin it is and stuff but I gotta tell you I I definitely prefer the XM18 3 inch um, both are super well made knives um, very high quality will last you a lifetime and you know they're heirloom quality knives and they're tough but this one is definitely uh, got a few things on it that I'm not and you can you know you could adjust the detent but really the detent doesn't even bother me as much as how how slim the knife is it just doesn't feel as as good in the hand because I think it's too slim and it's the lock bar being so slim and that that um, just on disengaging that lock bar is Kind of, and then you, you couple how strong the detent is with your thumb. Your thumb's going to be sore when you use this knife. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap up my comparison of the um, my overview and comparison of the Triple Lot Design Compact uh, by Rick Hinder Knives and the XM18 three inch and the half track. I think I love the half track and I love the XM and those are the two that are staying. And I think this one's actually going to be sold. Um, it's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to it, but there's a few things that I just can't overlook for the for the money. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.